time for some unanswered questions, guys. We're going division by division, and today is AFC North Day. Let's take a look at the odds over at FanDuel Sportsbook. Uh, the Ravens are the favorites at plus 140. The Bengals a close second at plus 170, followed by Browns at plus 500. Ste okay, Steelers plus 650. First up is the Ravens. My question for them. What's the question, Kay? Are you so, why are you so far today? I don't know. Get, move that, pick that thing up. Is that thing heavy? <laughs> Let's get this guy. Come, come, just come close. Can't you come sit by me? Some, somebody can, no, he can't. Richard goes, no. You have anything to throw? What are those? At what point does this become water balloons is my question. We're building towards that. Yeah, I feel like paintball gun is the, the finale. Hamilton, what do you have cooked little, up? Uh, Oh, these are creepy and squishy. I know, they smell really bad too. That's why they're really Are these, them. what What would you call, is this, I thought it was Pikachu, but this is a Fugazi. Um, this is an off-brand Costco, Kirkland brand Pikachu. Is that bringing back trauma from your brother? Is it a chicken? Yeah. <laughs> My real question, uh, are you lit over there? I don't know what's no, happening. No. Uh, my question for the Ravens, as we go division by division here, will the defense still be Dominant. Ravens dominance, a different level of dominant. Lamar may have won MVP uh, again, uh, and the offense maybe will be better with the addition of Derrick Henry. This defense was not just the number one defense in the league last year. They were another level. They were historically dominant. And they've undergone some changes, so let's hit you guys with them as you've been, you know, you're busy. It's the three-hour graduations you guys are doing. You're watching the NBA. You're watching people flash people in the New York portal. You don't have time to look at all the changes. So here they are. The Seahawks hired D.C. Mike McDonald as their head coach. Baltimore promoted 31-year-old former linebacker Zach Orr into his role. Geno Stone leaves for Cincy. Um, TPD as how they're replacing him. Patrick Queen, Jadavion Clowney, they gone. So, I don't know, they added a first rounder Nate Wiggins to the mix. We like that. Last year's third rounder Trent Simpson. He's got a chance to do something, step up, uh, fulfill a role here. They do have Oroquan. They do have Kyle Hamilton. Um, so no shortage of talent, but those are some pretty big changes. The question is, can they be that dominant? Do they even need to be with what they did on offense? I don't know, big shoes uh, to fill for Zach Orr uh, as a rookie play caller. So I'm rooting for Zach. Amazing journey to this point. Want to see him succeed. Always tough when the bar is literally not just number one defense, but historically good dominant defense. So, I don't know, hopes and dreams of your fan base. Resting likely on the ability to stop Patrick Mahomes and Joe Burrow. Isn't that the name of the game here? Um, we'll see. I can't wait. Let's move on to the Bengals. What's the question? <laughs> if I could flip this table over. <laughs> I think I would. Were those more chickens? It's all, I would have went all chickens, to be honest with you. Here's, here's what I don't like. Nobody tells me what's going to go on. He's, every day he's throwing something different at me. Cat, Cat's sitting over there in the shadows. Cat, you're not on my side? You didn't think, like, maybe have a Nerf super soaker? I'm sorry. No worries. Please don't put that online, what I just did. <laughs> do not. Do not, Jordan. <laughs> Jordan, don't you dare. <laughs> make a meme, a gift, or something about that, ever. Uh, what? Why is Richard trying to always stop me from having fun? Richard's always in my ear, trying to keep me on track. What are you? Uh, in charge, the adult in the room? Um, Kat, look at me. We gotta come up with something okay. for tomorrow. Schedule release showdown day. Kevin O'Connell on the show tomorrow. Um, I'm talking, what about one of those buckets of paint that, that I like hit a dart in it and it drops like a full white bucket of paint? Something like that. Let's look on TikTok. Um, okay, next up, the Bengals. Um, What's the question, Kay? Okay, oh God. <laughs> <laughs> got me in the jugular. Oh my God, I'm all of a sudden Will Ferrell and streaking Frank the Tank. Okay, uh, I'm gonna approach this one a little bit differently. I've dug into a lot of my questions with them this off season. I talk about the Bengals often. Um, and I'm just going to answer, answer, you know, uh, something that, or like, I guess talk with the Bengals. Let me cut this. Let me stop. <laughs> what a shit show. With the Bengals, we got an answer yesterday to a question that I've had a lot. Who's going to be playing for the Bengals in 2024? We can count Trey Hendrickson in. Let's go. He showed up woo, to voluntary workouts despite a trade request that came out during draft week. Uh, and if his presence at workouts wasn't enough to tell you about where he stands as a man, a man of his team, great. He talked to reporters and he was asked, yo, you going to be in Cincy eating that great ice cream this season? Take a listen. Oh, yeah, no doubt. 
Yeah, that's a no-brainer. I mean, like, I love this team. I'm in great shape. Uh, you know, it's good to see the guys. We got great draft picks in the building. So, yeah, no-brainer. You know, I'm also humbled by the experience that they want me to be here. You know, the communication is very open and transparent, very respectful. So I have nothing but good things to say. Uh, loved hearing that. Didn't sound like he was hesitant. Didn't sound like... This is massive. It looks great on the organization, by the way. It seems like they're talking and they're likely to figure something out. And it looks great on him to be there when he doesn't have to be. He does not have to be there. He's got on his mind a Super Bowl. Work it out. As we know, the window is windowing. Uh, huge relief to see Trey back in the mix with the reshaped defense. It is go time. And I'd also just like to quickly say, all of you fans who were all over Trey for doing what was right within his right and all of that, I hope you send him a little love. Not an apology note or whatever, but you better love him this season and this off season for showing up, doing the right thing when he does not have to. Uh, okay, all right, next is the... The what? Browns? Why is Kat standing there? Well, Kat. You got her Why is some, why are you throwing things at me? <laughs> <laughs> Can we do an instant replay of that just completely slapping my, can we please, is there an instant replay, a slow-mo, something we can do? I heard that. I think my cheeks went after it did that. Um, Kat, by the way, great shooter. I mean, is that from the, from the, from the three? She was like, Okay, uh, up next, the Cleveland Browns. And I, I like how I asked you to be on my team, but you did that instead, great. Uh, my question for the Cleveland Browns is, are they better than they were a handful of months ago? For whatever reason, they didn't bring Joe Flacco back. I'm gonna let everyone else speculate on why. I don't know. But you can't deny what he meant to this team, what he brought to the team, the zest, the this, um, and what an asset he's been to be in a room uh, with quarterbacks Jameis and Deshaun. I don't know, I wish Flacco was there. He led the NFL in passing over his five starts. He really was the catalyst to the Browns' run to a playoff spot. I will say this um, as a bit of a counterpoint. The Browns were seven and five with their other quarterbacks, pretty much that entire dominant defense is running it back. They're here, you still got Miles. And Nick Chubb, who they lost two games into the season, we forget about him, and he's been the identity of their offense, and he should be uh, with how great he is. So if they can just sort of get some semblance of stability out of the quarterback spot, do you look at Deshaun Watson and think semblance of stability? Do you look at Jameis Winston and think semblance of stability? I don't know, but if they do, then they'll be in the playoff mix once again. And I gotta say, Eric, like Jameis won us over, didn't he? Oh. He's lovely. What, what were your thoughts? Why don't, can we like, can we like, can we like, can we show Eric, Lisa? Can we show Eric? Eric just sitting in the shadows there. Look at you. Um, what'd you make of Jameis when you met him? Oh, he's lovely. His family's lovely. His mom. His uncle he, is wearing that up and out of his hat. He's got a uh, charm. Yes. Charisma. Yes. I know those are kind of two different, but he's got, he's got something going for him. And he really, I feel like, wants his role to be this mentor, this guy. But I also think he's a dog. He's going to go in there and say, like, oh, Deshaun Washington's missed how many games in the past two seasons? I'm going to start here. Uh, and he's going to get a path. And Nick Chubb's a great guy to have back and healthy. All right, finally for the Steelers. What's the question? Oh, I was thinking about Janice. Oh my God! Well, yeah, wait, wait to throw an interception there, buddy. My question for the for the Steelers um, is one that I think everyone has right now. Who is the guy? Who's the quarterback? Is it is it actually going to be Russell Wilson? Is Justin Fields going to wrestle it away from him? And when in training camp, week one, week two? How long is the Shepherd's hook? Like I don't know. Whoever wins it is an upgrade on what they had. Sorry to say, look at it. Last season, Steelers quarterbacks combined for 13 touchdown passes, combined. 13 touchdown passes to nine interceptions. I mean, less than a touchdown pass per game is crazy in the 60s. Now, it's unheard of. They ranked in the bottom 10 pretty much across the board. I mean, the fact that they still finished 10 and seven, Tomlin, you're an absolute, absolute goat. Unbelievable. It's wild to me that the Steelers, uh, as we talked about, their bottom odd, what are their odds? My, no, 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 that's for Russell Wilson starts. What are the, plus 650. Plus 650, guys, bottom once again, despite upgrading at the most important position on the field with either choice, and also adding to every level on both sides of the ball as well, I don't know, when are we gonna stop doing this to Mike Tomlin? When are we gonna get it? If it's Russ, if it's Justin, this team's going to be relevant, and I feel like this is a playoff team to me. 
This is a playoff team to me. They're going to work their way into it might not be pretty, but it's going to be better than averaging less than a touch on the game uh, combined. So that's uh, yeah, that's that's my question, and there's my answer. I don't know. Great question. I don't know Kay. what this is. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Good job, Cat. Cat, you and I are going to have a tough conversation after the show today. Up next.